Hello friends, today I will discuss the brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. Here is the brush tool. You can paint anything with this tool. It will paint with a foreground color. There are some shortcuts available. Press the Alter button plus the right mouse button and hold. Then move the cursor to the right side. The brush size will increase. In the same way, move the cursor to the left side. The brush size will decrease. Press the Alter button plus the right mouse button and hold. Move the cursor to the top. The hardness of the brush will decrease. In the same way, move the cursor to the bottom. The hardness of the brush will increase. Click here. Here you can change the size of the brush. You can also change the hardness of the brush. Here you will find various types of brush presets. I am showing you some brushes. Here you will find various brushes under any selected presets. Here you will find different settings. You can create new brush presets and groups, rename, delete, import and export brushes, etc. You will find this toolbar by clicking the right mouse button also. Here you can set the brush angle and roundness. Here you can change the brush mode. By default, it's in normal mode. I am showing you some of these modes. Dissolve. Behind. Darken. Back to the normal. Here we can change the opacity of the brush. Set it at 30%. Now you can see the difference. If we paint continuously, the opacity will be constant. If we leave the mouse button and paint again, the color will be darker. If you have a graphics tablet, you can use this option. You can use pressure for opacity. Here you can change the flow of the brush. With decreased brush flow, you can control the amount of color.
Here you can enable airbrush style build up effects. After enabling this, I am drawing a line with decreased brush flow. After disabling this, I am drawing another line with decreased brush flow. You can see the difference on the edge of the line. Here you can change the smoothing of the brush. If you increase the smoothing, your zigzag line always will be smooth. If you want to draw a zigzag line, keep it at 0%. Here are some smoothing options available. If we check pulled string mode, see the line. If we check catch up on stroke end, the line will end on the last brush point. You can paint a straight line by pressing the shift button. Press and hold the shift button. Draw a line from left to right or right to left. It will create a horizontal line. In the same way, if you draw a line from top to bottom or bottom to top, it will create a vertical line. Another interesting thing, click on any place. Then press and hold the shift button and click on another place and a straight line is created. If you have a graphics tablet, you can use this option. You can use pressure for brush size. Here you will find the symmetry button. Select vertical. Now draw any side of this vertical line. The reflection will have drawn to another side. Thus we can use other options. Horizontal. Dual axis. Circle. Thanks for watching.